Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Amerilite 188RB. It's going to be a nice, lightweight rear bath floor plan, going to come in at just under 3,100 pounds, so it can be easily towed by a lot of your small to mid-size SUVs. Let's go ahead and start off right up front. You'll notice a 20-pound propane tank there, and right behind it will be the tray for your battery. Diamond plating coming up the front, that way any kind of rocks that get thrown up by the tow vehicle are just going to hit this diamond plating here and not beat up your aluminum front. Pass through storage, you will have access on both sides as well as underneath the bed. So three points of access to the items that you put in there. Right here is going to be an awning, so that way if you want to sit out underneath, uh, pull out a couple of chairs, you can definitely do that and give yourself a little bit of shade, some protection from the sun. Also, right out here, and then you'll notice this is underneath the awning, there's going to be a couple electrical outlets. So if you need to plug anything in, whether that be an electric griddle or whatever else, you certainly can do that too. Another thing, if you take a look up there, not only do you have the awning to protect you from the rain, but you also have rain gutters. So if it does start rain, raining, it'll have a uh, curved roof line, and the rain's going to run to the front and back of the unit, not drop down right on you on the campsite. All right, let's head on in and take a look. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Amerilite 188RB. Start off right over here. So this is the dinette. Uh, I love that the dinette is placed in this uh, coach because right here is going to be your window, so that way you get a great view out to the campsite. Plenty of room in the dinette here as well. You get a lot of room. A lot of times these dinettes are tight uh, from the back of the cushion to the table. Not the case here. Also, this is going to drop down to make into a bed, so if you do need an additional sleeping area, you certainly get that right there. Right up above the dinette, you get nice deep storage. This does go all the way back on both sides, so excellent storage there. And if you want a TV in this coach, this is where it would go. You can see they have a sticker so you know exactly where to, uh, that backer is located to mount the TV. The connections, of course, will be right there. Now this is a rear bath coach, so one of the big advantages of that is the fact you get a huge rear bathroom here. You can see right here is the toilet, plenty of leg room there. And if you take a look over here, you'll see the medicine cabinet, mirrored medicine cabinet there, storage, and a huge countertop over there, which is phenomenal. Plenty of room for everything you're going to need. Uh, also, you have additional storage right here underneath the sink, as well as additional storage area there. On the other side of the bathroom is going to be our tub shower. Uh, that way, you know, if you had uh, plenty of room, you can see it has a hand wand, make it nice and easy to wash. And up top, you also have that skylight, which gives you some additional headspace and lets in a lot of natural light during the daytime. Now, if we take a look at the off door side, I love this. The huge wardrobe right here. You can see the hanging rod they put in there. So, massive wardrobe. Uh, nice uh, shelf space right here as well. Air conditioning unit. So if it is a really hot day, you can go ahead and kick that on. Microwave up top, as well as pantry storage next to that. Down below, nice big countertop here. You can see you have great prep space, which is phenomenal. Uh, plug in, you know, you don't have to worry about it being mounted underneath. You do have a light to make it nice and bright, but there's your plug in. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker, you can easily do that. Uh, two burner cooktop here, as well as a single bowl sink and a high rise uh, oil rub bronze faucet there. Take a look underneath, great storage, both here and there. So some excellent extra storage capabilities. And then this is going to be your refrigerator with the ice box. You can see that can go ahead and drop right down. Now this does run off of both propane and electric, and you can set it up for automatic switchover. So if it's running off of propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it's gonna go ahead and switch over to electric for you, saving you on your gas. Take a look up front, you can see you have a full walk around queen bed, so it is nice and easy to make the bed, which is phenomenal. Uh, great storage up top here as well. And then you have huge shelves on both sides. That's gonna be great because not only can you, uh, you know, put a glass of water there, or if you have electronics, you can plug it in, but the shelves are definitely big enough that if you have a CPAP machine, you can put it there and still have plenty of room. Also, as I mentioned, the bed does lift up. This will go into that uh, access the, through, for the pass through. You can also see your water tank is in here, which is great. You don't have to worry about that freezing up on you. And right behind the water tank is gonna be the water pump. So if the water pump does go, it is gonna be nice and easy to go ahead and access.
access that if you have to replace it. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Again, this is a 2016 Amerilite 188RB. It's going to be a great couples coach. You have the big rear bathroom, the full walk around queen bed, uh, the dinette exactly where you want it, and it only being uh, under 3,100 pounds, you can tow it with a smaller SUV. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.